Now let's cover the nervous and humoral regulation of blood pressure. Now you have the handout, but I would like you to follow along and also draw the structures with me. This will help you understand and retain the information instead of just sitting back and taking it all in. Let's recall that the sympathetic stimulation of the heart will increase the rate of spontaneous depolarization in the SA node and the AV nodes, which will therefore increase heart rate. Again, to recall its effect on cardiac performance, think sympathetic speed and strengthen the heart rate. So in the medulla oblongata, we will have the cardiac inhibitory center. And we also have the cardiac acceleratory center. The cardiac inhibitory center, from there, arises the parasympathetic nerve fibers, which is the vagus. They are the parasympathetic. From the cardiac acceleratory center arises the sympathetics, which arise from the dorsal spine, the sympathetic chain ganglia. Now the action potentials that affect the heart from these centers are already pre-programmed. The action potential is an inhibitory postsynaptic potential from the parasympathetics, negative. The sympathetics have an excitatory postsynaptic potential to the heart. The parasympathetics affect and innervate the SA node, mostly, and the AV node. They are associated with acetylcholine, and they reduce heart rate. The sympathetics from the cardiac acceleratory center have a excitatory effect on the heart. They also feed the SA node, the AV node, also, the ventricles, these are associated with norepinephrine, and they will increase the heart rate. Note that the parasympathetics have a very poor effect on the ventricles. The sympathetics do. The sympathetics have a greater effect on the ventricles. Let's note that the, the centers are named for their effect on the heart. Inhibitory, acceleratory.